Welcome back to In My Mama's Kitchen. I'm Jeff and I'm Mama. She's behind the camera today. And uh, so today I'm making Mom's favorite dessert that I make, which is banana pudding. Banana pudding is a long and storied recipe. There's a lot of different variations. There's cold banana pudding with whipped cream. There's hot banana pudding with meringue. No, I'm sorry, I can't do that one. I apologize for those of you that like the hot baked banana pudding with meringue. More power to you? No. <laughs> I don't like meringue. I don't either. Uh, my recipe is adapted from Paula Dean's recipe. Paula Dean makes a good recipe of banana pudding. Um, but I like mine better. A lot of people use, traditionally, vanilla pudding or vanilla custard was the basis for banana pudding. That was done way back before they made banana cream pudding. So I use banana cream pudding. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over all the ingredients and then we're going to travel back in time to last night and I'm going to show you how I made the bases for my banana pudding. So you use chessmen cookies. Instead of vanilla wafers. Instead of vanilla wafers, you use Cool Whip. You can do homemade whipped cream. Cool Whip is just good and easy. Bananas. Um, in here, as you'll see, is a mixture of uh, sweetened condensed milk and a block of cream cheese. And then in here is my banana cream pudding. All right, so let's take a break, travel back in time to last night. You'll see how I made the bases and why I let them sit overnight. And then we'll be right back. All right, so now it's time to make the filling for the banana pudding. Um, and I do this the night before, like I said. So one eight ounce block of room temperature cream cheese. And one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. There is nothing diet about this recipe. So pour this in. Scrape all this goodness out. Why? Because you bought it, you want it all. Yes, and the recipe needs it. That's true. Well. I know. You know you can boil this in a slow cooker or put this in a can sealed in a slow cooker for like five or six hours, cover it with water, and when you open it up, it's dolce de leche caramel. Caramel, caramel. It's nighttime. It's what? It's nighttime, I'm tired. Well, people say it different from me. I say it depending on my mood. If I'm feeling fancy, it's caramel. You don't even have to put it in the slow cooker, you just put it in the pan of cold water. Correct. Nope. Water can leak in. It needs to be fully covered. Okay. All right. So we're going to get this whisking on high and then we're going to do a close up on this and I'm going to do the pudding mixture. So we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm turning this on and this is the cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk. Now for the pudding. You want to whip this, and that'll take a few minutes. Now, like I said, most people use vanilla pudding. I use banana cream pudding because I make a banana pudding. I want my pudding to taste like bananas. So what are you, how much are you using? These are two... Um, 3.4 ounce packs, and then I'm using two and a half cups of milk and a half cup of heavy whipping cream. This is making the pudding? This is the pudding base, because okay. you know I don't do anything normally. Right. Now, pour in some of this. Oh, this is gonna make a mess. Might as well just go for it. Yeah. Well, why don't you Let like, me get a whisk. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't you whisk it first and then do that? 
I usually do both in the stand mixer. Yeah. Now on here, um, the pudding, it's supposed to do a total of four cups of milk. I want this to be thicker than normal pudding. So instead of four cups, what? Two and a half cups of milk and half yeah. cup of heavy cream. So basically three cups of liquid. Three cups instead of four cups, because okay. it's two cups per box. I'm sorry, three cups per box. No, it's two cups per box. Okay. I'm gonna need to turn this up. Guys, we'll be back in just a minute to show you because this is gonna get really loud. I know this is loud, this is really loud, but I've got this on high now to whip air into this, and I'm whipping air into this, because you can see it's getting very thick. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so this is finished. As you can see, it is a very thick pudding base, and it's not even fully set yet. Um, the reason, again, why I want this so thick is because I'm going to be folding in whipped cream into it. Well, actually, I'm going to be folding both of these mixtures together and then folding in whipped cream. But these don't go together right now? No, because I need this pudding to set up and get really thick, and that's why I'm going to do that overnight. And then tomorrow, I'll combine everything. Oh Just getting everything out of here. And I'll let Mama lick the spatula. <laughs> I had a couple of requests for this, and since summer's almost over, allegedly. It is Texas, after all. It is Texas. So that's going into the fridge, and that's going to sit overnight. And then this, as you can see, it's runny, but it's it will thicken up overnight. So I'm going to get this in the fridge, and we'll be back and finish it all up. So see you in a little bit. All right, so now you've seen how we do the bases, or how I do the bases for this. Um, I do it this way because that's how I like it. And your shirt shows that I do what I want. <laughs> exactly. Guys, this is your food. Do it how you want it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple of tips and techniques. Like I said, the banana pudding that I used last night. Actually, let me do this first before I get into that. I'm going to cut another banana. Now, everyone always peels them up here. No. Wrong. Peel them from the bottom. You know, well, watch the monkeys. That's yeah. how they do it. Well, Uncle Jody taught me this. That's true. He's a, he was a monkey. <laughs> you just peel it, comes right off. Yep. And yes, my counters are clean, as are my hands. So I'm just chopping these up. Not bad piece. I'm going to eat this piece here. Mm. I always forget how good bananas are until I start cutting them up. Well, I have to say, uh, my mom made banana pudding when I was a child, mm -hmm. and she used the vanilla wafers and the vanilla pudding and all that, and, and I loved doing it. I loved it. I always liked banana pudding. But when you made this and brought it to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I have died and gone to It's okay it's amazing. with vanilla pudding. But if you're making banana pudding, make banana pudding. Yeah. So as you can see, this is very thick pudding because yeah. I used, you know, the two and a half cups of milk and the half cup of the heavy whipping cream. You don't want a runny pudding. You want this to be kind of thick. You want it thick, not kind of <laughs> thick. Looks very thick. And guys, don't fool yourself. This is fattening. But it's so, if these are calories, they're, they're worth mm. it. Now this mixture, I'm going to pour in. This is the cream cheese and the sweetened condensed milk mixture. Yeah. Sorry, I got to get it all. I know. Every bit. I paid for it. I'm going to use it. <laughs> I want it all. Now I'm going to fold these two together. I'm going to use a whisk here. It's almost too thick to whisk. Ugh. Gotta be tough. 
Well, it's a thick mixture, so it's yeah. hard to whisk. I mean, as you can see, it's yeah. thick and heavy. <laughs> exactly. Now comes La Cour Whip. Sometimes it only needs one container. This is a eight ounce container, but I like to put in generally around 12 ounces. Now comes the folding part. You wanna do it in like a figure eight. Down through the center and then just fold it over because you've got volume from the whipped cream. And if you do homemade whipped cream, you want it stiff peaks. You don't want it runny or soft. You want to hold it straight. Correct. And the reason you don't whisk it or beat it is you don't want to lose any air or volume because then it'll be not as floofy. Yeah. Oh, that looks delicious. I know. Wow. And you can also do a variation of this. You can use, uh, get chocolate wafers, not Oreos, but they sell chocolate wafers or you can get Oreos and scrape the cream out and do a chocolate pudding as your base. Chocolate banana pudding? You don't have to do banana. My sister doesn't like bananas. I still think she's adopted. She likes bananas, she doesn't like banana pudding. Oh, I thought she didn't like bananas. No, she doesn't like banana pudding. Oh, okay. Well then, I still think she's adopted. <laughs> and uh, so I made her a chocolate one one year, which turned out really good. And so you just use chocolate cookies I and Chocolate, chocolate pudding. pudding. And then I still use the base of the cream cheese and the, and the sweetened condensed milk okay. and then the whipped cream. I know, I could just dive in here and eat this. <laughs> Add in just a little more. How can you tell when it's enough? Well, you want about 12 ounces, so it's a whole one of those and then a half, half of, of that. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to extend this and make it a little more, you could add in the whole rest of the other of your cool whip. To make a bigger batch. To make a bigger batch. Oh no, I got some on my hand. Whatever am I going to do? Wash your hands. <laughs> Wait, what was that look? You don't know me that well, do you? You're going to lick your hands, and then you're going to have to wash your hands. Exactly. If I'm going to wash them, I'm going to lick them first. All right, let me get a spoon and taste test this. Mm. Now, because I love my mama so. Mm. Oh, my heavens. Mm. <laughs> yes, please. I know, and it just, because it's the banana pudding, it just has yeah. just a, such a better banana flavor. It really does. All right, now take your chessmen cookies. I like to do this recipe when chessmen cookies are on sale, because they're usually like three fifty dollars a pack. This is on sale two for five. But when you're doing it for your mama, you know. For special occasions. Or because you just love it. <laughs> just lay your cookies out. And this is a 9 by 13 pan. Oh, we have a broken one. Whatever shall we do? Oh, just pin it here. I'll take it out of the oven. You can't put that huh? in there. It's broken. Oh, okay. No, go ahead. Go no, ahead. take it. Take it. But see, you got to be smart and do it like this. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yum. But even that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not crazy about just the crack the cookies by themselves. Mm -hmm. You are. Oh, another broken one. Oh, no. It'll all mix in together. Yeah, it will. I'm probably going to have enough just in that one box. Mm -mm. No? Oh, because you have to do layers. Well, you don't have to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. 
strange. You've never made a lasagna before? <laughs> Now, as the minions say, banana. Banana. So you layer your bananas on top. And then when you get like this far into it, you'll just be like. No, 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 no. We're going to make it nice and pretty. You want to do that, but I won't lay you. I don't see you over here stopping me. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 12 in there and then two for you. Mm-hmm. This is how you are. It's healthy. I know it is. We have more bananas, too. Yeah. We still have, like, three bananas here that we can use. I generally buy eight bananas. See, I think you only need one level on this. Yeah, you really do. Just one. Otherwise, it would be overkill. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It usually happens. <laughs> They're trying to escape. And they don't have to be layered in here perfectly. No. Just kind of have to cover it, right? Yes, ma'am. Get off me. Mm. It was stuck to my palm. All right. Let me rinse the banana off the hand. Hmm. CDO, correct alphabetical order. Yeah. Then, as you can see how thick this is. Yeah. You don't need all of that. We're going to make another batch up here. Oh, we are? Don't you think? Because I don't think you need much more than that. Oh, my goodness, how easy. It just looks absolutely amazing. So, if you put um, chestnut on top, or you just leave it like that? Yes. Okay. I'll show you what I do. Okay. Cheese grater. Mm -hmm. As it breaks. Oops. You know what I do with it? I just switch it with my hands. I know. Because otherwise you're going to get your finger in there too. Pieces. And Ma making a mess again. <laughs> should have been what, what we call this show. Exactly. Um, then before you serve it, you don't want to do it right now. No. Um, before you serve it, you want to slice bananas and put bananas on top. If you put them on top right now, they're going to go brown. Right. So this is going to go in the fridge for about four hours. So it's three o'clock. You can't touch it until seven. Well, it's a dinner. Perfect. <laughs> time. Yeah, but knowing you, it would be dinner. Yes, yes, it All right. Be. So, this one's going in the fridge. Okay. And I'll make a small one. I need to chop up some more bananas. So, we'll show you what it looks like when we cut it. Y'all have a great night. See you in a little bit. All right, y'all. It's been about six hours, actually. So, we're going to scoop some up. Extreme close up. Extreme close up. How much you want? Well, let's see. That's for you. I'll take this over here. The whole pan? Yeah, I'll take the pan. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm going to scoop out. Oh, now, my. the cookies get a little soggy, which is good, though. Oh, I like them that way. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't put any on top, did you? I sprinkled some on. I was yeah. uh, hungry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. I'm, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoon. I'm behind the camera because today is a bad hair day. And, wait, is that mine? That's yours. Well, I need one of those cookies. No, one of those. Get your own. One of yours. <laughs> I want one of those good soft cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Now then. Now I'm gonna add some extra cool whip to mine. Oh no, I don't. Ugh. I don't want to do that. I like cool whip and stuff, and I like it on uh, strawberry shortcake, and that's it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, take a big bite. Cheers. Mmm. Good, huh? Mm hmm I'm just banana -y, creamy, good, thick, custardy. Mmm. Guys, you gotta make this. Mm-hmm. So, we're gonna go eat this and finish watching <laughs> our TV. So, y'all have a good night. Please send in your uh, suggestions, requests, whatever you do, we'll do what we can. Bye. Bye. <laughs>